This is Tomo News for Thursday, September 7th. Boy's heart stops after eating a hot dog. A boy who ate a heart stop and hot dog is the subject of a strikingly odd new medical study. A report in the medical journal Pediatric describes how a nine-year-old boy's heart stopped beating after he began eating a hot dog in Istanbul, Turkey. He was later resuscitated. Choking can lead to cardiac arrest in children, but in this case, medical staff found the hot dog stimulated the boy's vagus nerve, which in turn triggered an abnormal rhythm that caused his heart to stop. Upon further investigation and an electrocardiogram, he was found to have a rare life-threatening heart rhythm condition known as Brugada syndrome. The child was later implanted with a defibrillator to help regulate the abnormal heart rhythms via electrical impulses. The condition is reportedly inherited and more common among those of Southeast Asian descent. One guy almost fooled the entire world of journalism. One man was such a good con artist, he managed to trick international journalists. You know, those folks who are supposed to be the most scrupulous of all about sources and stuff. By and large, most people on social media and many in the media industry believe this man's false identity as a surf-loving war photographer. Before being revealed as a con artist, the unnamed man went by the name of Eduardo Martins, an accomplished photographer who was not only handsome, but also a skilled surfer from Sao Paulo. Oh, and a survivor of leukemia. Over the past three years, Martin said he worked as a United Nations war photographer, snapping events in the Gaza Strip, Syria, and Iraq, where he's said to have witnessed the battle for Mosul against the Islamic State. Man, that sounds really badass. Martin's photos were widely used by Al Jazeera, Deutsche Welle, The Wall Street Journal, BBC Brazil, and image agencies such as Getty Images. In fact, those images were actually taken by other photographers who actually went to the war zones. The little con man merely inverted the images horizontally and added some slight alterations. A BBC Brazil contributor in the Middle East became suspicious after Martin's contacted her. She later reached out to other Brazilian journalists working in the Middle East and learned that Eduardo Martins never existed. The UN and other groups whom Martins said he worked for told BBC Brazil that Martins never worked for them and none of them recognized his face. BBC Brazil later discovered that the images supposedly of Martins himself were actually of 32-year-old British surfer Max Hepworth Povey, who had zero knowledge that this was happening. Once the con artist's work was called into question, he deleted his social media accounts and WhatsApp. However, before he went silent, he said he was in Australia and was going to travel the world in a van. Puff, just like that, Eduardo Martins disappeared. BBC Brazil later discovered that Martins had online relationships with at least six women, and none of them had ever met him in person. Although the con artist's true identity remains a mystery, what he did is arguably the most successful case of identity fraud since Catch Me If You Can Frank Abagnale Jr. Escaped Circus Tiger Gets Shot After Attacking Dog Imagine waking up to a tiger in your backyard about to eat your dog. Yikes! A hot Atlanta suburb had one hell of a wake-up call after a circus tiger named Susie busted loose and wandered around the neighborhood. Susie was being transported from Tampa to Memphis by Feld Entertainment, but somehow managed to escape en route in Georgia without being noticed. The company didn't realize Susie was gone until after the truck arrived in Memphis. Nice one, guys. Meanwhile, Susie was given residents a pleasant surprise around 6 a.m. when police received at least two 911 calls from people who saw her near an interstate ramp. She then wandered into some neighborhood backyards. Brittany Speck woke up to a ton of police outside her house and her dog going nuts in the backyard. When Speck went to check on her dog Journey, she saw Susie in a neighbor's backyard chilling by a minivan. Speck went to call 911, but while she was doing that, Susie jumped the fence and tried to make a snack out of Journey. Journey was running around as the police arrived on scene. Just as Susie jumped on the dog, the police shot the tiger dead. Authorities have been in touch with the tiger's owners, and the investigation is ongoing. Facebook finds fake Russian accounts spreading fake news. Aha, uh -huh. so it was the Russians all along. Either that or Facebook is trying to make something out of nothing. 
Facebook says around 3,000 ads worth $100,000 ran on their network over a two-year period, ending in May 2017, adding that the purpose of the ads were to spread divisive social and political messages. The ads directed people to 470 accounts that were spreading false news or were in breach of company policies and have since been shut down. As part of an internal investigation on how Facebook could have been used to influence the last U.S. election, the company found ads that were bought from U.S. IP addresses, but with their language set to Russian. According to Facebook, in that part of the review, they uncovered about $50,000 in potentially politically related spending on about 2,200 ads. The advertisements did not support any particular candidate, but focused on immigration, race, and equal rights.